Hey guys, it is me, BoneCadoo86, and I am here today to show you what has arrived in the mail. Oh yeah, would you look at that. This is a brand new monitor, ladies and gentlemen. It is, well, it's an Acer K2 series. Here's some information about it right there. There's some other information down here. Full HD. In plane switching, I don't know. I don't even know what that means. E color, it's fuckerless. I hate when there's fuckers in my monitor, so I'm glad they did that. Blue light filter and comfy view. Man, that is some pretty good stuff. I have never had a 1080p monitor before. I've always made do a 720, and it's been just fine. But I think it's time for an upgrade. And well, here is my upgrade right here next to me. I want to give a big shout out to my buddy Dwyron for telling me about this deal. This was only $110 with the deal. So Dwyron, he's a great guy. Also, it's his birthday. So I want all of you to write in the comments, happy birthday Dwyron. All right. Now for the process of um, opening up this beast. All right. Well, uh, here we go. I'm hoping I can do this without having to resort to using tools. But I am known as something of a human box cutter. So this tape, while it is pretty sturdy, should not be that much of an obstacle for me. Although this is pretty severe tape, I gotta say. All right. Get rid of that. Ooh. Take a look, guys. We have power cord. All right. Over here. I assume it's part of the stand. And as we remove the foam, all right, I think I'm going to lay this down. I'm going to move these items out of the way. I'm going to push these blankets out of the way. And ladies and gentlemen, look at the size of that beast. I've never had anything so big. All right, well, there's the instructions or the warnings or whatever. All right, we're doing this one-handed, so mm, forgive the wonky angles. Oh, yeah, there is the base. Uh, right, put that aside. And would you look at that? Holy crap. Uh, well, here we go. We are going to pull off the plastic to reveal the monitor at its full size. Would you look at that? Look at how big this is. I mean, you can see my face in here for comparison. So, it's quite large. Now, as you can see here, we have some ports here. I believe this is where the power goes in there. By the way, I apologize for the bad lighting. This is a bad angle. But we got some, we have the HDMI, we have DVI, D in, VGA in, and audio in. So there are built-in speakers to this uh, thing. There are a few buttons on the front, which I assume do the things that all buttons on monitors normally do. Look at this. Look at this beast. It's hard to believe that this is actually a thing. <laughs> even though I know even far bigger monitors than this exist, but I've never had one even close to this big. So I've got to say that I am thoroughly impressed. All right. The next step is to take these things 
out of their bags, which isn't too interesting, so maybe I'll skip ahead till they're all out. Alright, here are all the items removed from the bag. So, we have here the, uh, the base of the stand. We have the stand that holds the monitor. This is the cord that connects the monitor to the computer. This here is, I believe it's for monitor to monitor, although I could be mistaken. This is obviously the power cord. And this here must be for sound. So, we're going to try to assemble some of this. Alright, first up, we are going to try to get this base put together. So let's move our monitor over so we don't sit on it. Okay, the way this works is you see on the bottom here, there is a, uh, a little ring that we can see. And um, what this is for is you can pull this in or out. You can set this into the slot. As you can see, there's two little slots at the top. This fits in like... Uh, yeah, this is the part that's gonna bite, that's gonna get me. Alright, let's uh, turn this. Okay, I think it's as far down as it goes. So, we're gonna put this in here like that. And then we turn this to the right. You might not be able to see it. I don't have the luxury of uh, having a camera person. Oh, there we go. I just felt it click into place. Okay. Well, there we have it. It looks pretty sturdy to me. This is the base. It's also like, I don't know, like a some sort of sporting equipment. Not really, but it kind of looks like something. One of those Velcro things, you know, those Velcro balls. Okay, and now to attach this onto the monitor, as you can see, down here is where you slide it in. So we're going to very carefully take this. Oh, God. Oh, is this right? Okay, what does this tab do? All right, I think you push it down and it locks into place. All right, that sounds pretty sturdy. Well, there you have it, folks. The monitor's on a stand. It looks pretty sturdy. Now all we need to do is bring it downstairs to the basement, and we are going to set things up. All right, so join us down there. And now we're down in the basement where all the magic happens. This is the monitor that I've been using for the last uh, six years. As you can see, it is a Hans G. Um, and it served me well. It's a very good monitor. And it's going to continue serving me, but as a second monitor. By the way, if those of you who have seen me wonder what I look at when I am on my computer, that's what I see. Very exciting. But. This is our old monitor, and over here, this is the new monitor. Old monitor, new monitor. Now we are going to have to try to find a way to get to make some space on this table, and I apologize for all this mess, but we need to make room to get this other monitor in here. So it's time to get clean. All right, the uh, area has been cleared and there has been a liberal use of Lysol disinfecting wipes to make sure that everything is clean. Now, my goal is to take this monitor, scoot it to the left, and make room for the new main monitor to go right here. Hopefully there will be room for everything like this microphone and these really old speakers and everything will be good. So let's get started. All right, let's see if we can do a magic trick. We're, at, we're behind the desk now, and I'm going to see if I can get that over there without tangling it in any of these damn cords. So, <clears throat> there we go, up and over. That wasn't so hard, was it? 
Maybe these should be in front of that. I don't know. It's kind of difficult to determine. But we now have a bunch of room here. A big spot where the wipe uh, failed to get. And everything is good to put the monitor down. All right, with this space in mind, let's come over here to this monitor. Up you get. And down you go. Oh my goodness. This is going to be difficult, but I think we managed to do it. Now, let's move number two a little closer. And now that they're side by side, we can truly appreciate the size difference between these two monitors. Now we have our uh, silly little speaker over here and I can just barely poke my hand under and change the volume but that is um, good enough and this setup is pretty good so let's hook it up now. Alright the first thing we need to do is set up the power and I have here the trusty power uh, strip. So. We just have to rediscover the location where the power goes. There we go. It's indicated by this little wave symbol. I don't know what that's supposed to be for, but we just got to push this up here. I need two hands for this, so excuse me while I do that. All right. And now that that's done, we can plug the other end into this power strip that has helpfully been bolted on to the back of this uh, table. So we've got a free slot right here and now it's plugged in. So far so good. Alright and now the monitor is um, plugged in and I turn it on. Of course it has nothing to uh, show so it's just giving me this uh, warning or this message but very soon we are going to unplug that monitor and plug this one in. All right, that is next. All right, now it is time to take this plug, this right here. We are going to screw it in into that slot and screw the other end into the adapter that's down there. So let's skip ahead to when it's been screwed in. All right, it's nice and snug in there and now we come and we take the other end and we are going to plug this into the place of this plug, which as you can see, is plugged into an adapter, which is plugged into the graphics card. This was a bit of a pain in the butt to set up. The one and only thing that gave me problems when I got my new computer um, upgrade from Dwyron. Alright, the new plug has replaced the old one, and now, as soon as I plugged it in, I saw a light come on from the screen, so now let's go around and see what happened. Well. The screen came on, and would you look at that? Look at how big that is. Holy crap. I am not used to things that are this big. Like, everything is so clear. Everything is so huge. So, there's really only one thing left to do, and that's to see if we can attach that to the back of this for use as a second monitor. All right, we are once again in the back of our monitors and um, I'm not sure exactly how to do this but it has to have something to do with this cord because it's the um, it seems to be the right one so we're gonna hook it up if we can and I'll show you after. Okay we seem to be running into a problem because I don't know if we can really see from this angle but there's no HDMI cable in the back of the older monitor so we're going to have to think of a, a way to do this. Alright, after much looking and realizing that I have a light I could turn on this whole time, I discovered that this is not the way to do it. This is not really, this is not the cord to put go from one monitor to another. And I have a bunch of adapters here which really don't uh, help in this situation. But it was worth a try, so we're going to look into this problem and see if we can figure it out. Okay, now I have a new theory on how to do this. Um, I believe what you do is you hook both of them directly into the graphics card. Because you see here, here is um, this connector. That one should be for the old monitor. And then this right here, that should go to the new monitor. 
So we're going to try that and see how it goes. Okay, we're going to try plugging this one in by itself. As you can see, this is connected to nothing. So we're going to try plugging this in by itself and seeing if that does anything. Alright, here we go. Well, it's here, but everything is minimized. So, let's see if we can't bring that back up. Uh... Okay, that was weird. Everything was minimized, and I couldn't maximize it. I was assuming that it was trying to open everything on the non-existent other connection. So we are going to plug this into that and see if that solves our problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we have success. What you are looking at right here is two monitors that are set up. And um, let's see if we can't do something... All right, right now they're set up the wrong way. See, this is, they think this one's the, um, this one's the left one, but not a big deal. Let's uh, take this, move it over. Holy crap. Oh my God, that's so cool. All right, so I think all we have to do is uh, set up the configuration and we're good. All right, and with this, we are set. You see? You can move this around and orient it, but you want to do it like that if it's the way that I have it, which is the monitors are roughly equal on the bottom, but the bigger one is higher on the right. So we got that right here. And if we come into here, we can see it's not an exact match, but it's as good as we're going to get. So I've got to be happy with that. So pretty good. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have entered the 21st century, and I am very happy. So, maybe we'll see some uh, HD content coming in the future. And enjoy this video in 1080p. Usually, this camera I've had for six years can record in 1080p, but I haven't used it as such just because it eats up memory like nobody's business. But since we now have 1080p display... Why not? So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This has been very exciting, and I look forward to doing plenty more stuff with you in the future. See you guys.